We set out at 3.30 in the morning so as to avoid the police roadblocks. With local help, we were heading deep into Matabili land, south from Bulawayo, to an area called Antelope, the site of an old concentration camp dating back to the early 1980s when Robert Mugabe was newly in power. We found that most of the buildings had been completely destroyed, but not all. And this one brought back terrible memories for the woman who had accompanied us. The last time she was here, she was a prisoner, a child of 11. Some of them, they just shoot, some of them, they beat them until they die. And then they just you light you off the fire, then you, you burn until you die. If I remember now, uh, my heart is so painful. These are the men responsible, the Zimbabwean Army's 5th Brigade. They were trained in killing by North Koreans. Later, Mr. Mugabe referred to the massacres, frankly, as a moment of madness. But at the time, he fended off questions about them. Wherever you have operations, you're bound to have one or two untoward uh, incidents, but not the mass graves which they talked about. Where are they? None. This man knows he's a surviving member of the 5th Brigade, and we tracked him down. And then we were told that we must kill a, any ex zipper that you find at home. Any he explained that they'd been ordered to kill Robert Mugabe's political enemies. He had personally murdered people at the camp we'd been to at Antelope. And he told us what they'd done with the bodies, thrown them down a nearby mine shaft. We headed off there. And you can just see the buildings on the side of the road with some people standing in front of it. We have to be very careful here because this entire area is controlled by a militia which is loyal to Robert Mugabe. Getting there was a tense business. At the mine head, we lowered our camera down the shaft to see if the bones still lay at the bottom. But they'd been reburied in the bush close by a few years ago in order to hide the traces of the massacre. An old man had watched as the new graves were dug and he showed us where they were. According to a Catholic commission which investigated the massacres in Matabili land, at least 20,000 people died altogether. Back in Bulawayo, we went to see the former Catholic Archbishop who had courageously protested about the killings. Did he, I asked, think that Robert Mugabe was responsible? I believe because who can give orders and who brought the North Koreans in to try and, to try and their soldiers to, for killing. And the, the soldiers told me that Mugabe sent them to kill. So, I mean, I, I believe it. Matabili land was Zimbabwe's killing field. But will anyone be brought to trial for what happened here? Not necessarily. After all, the main reason why Robert Mugabe and his closest associates have clung to power so fiercely has been their fear that they'd spend the rest of their days